in this video we will learn how to fix cache issue in asp.net core web api application if we try to access a resource from different domain then we will get this cache error we can fix this error in our asp.net core web api application go to visual studio stop the execution open the startup class Inside this configure services method, let's add new service services dot add course. Here we can write option dot add policy. See here, we will get uh, two policy methods here. First is add policy, second is add default policy. If you are using this uh, add default policy, it means the default policy that is provided by ASP.NET Core that will be used in this application. If you want to add one or uh, multiple policies, then you can use this add policy method. Here, we will use add default policy method. Inside this add default policy, we need to add few more options. So here, see here, we have a couple of methods, um, hello credentials, hello any method, hello any header, hello any origin. Along with, we have um, with origins, with exposed headers, with headers and etc. If you are using all version, then all the things which are available, those will be applicable. But if you want to define your custom setting, then you can use these with headers, with ed uh, methods, with origins. Here, we will use hello any origin then we have to use hello any header then we can also use hello any method here origin means domain of the consuming application header um, that we are passing in the request method means Type of the method like HTTP GET, HTTP PUT and HTTP POST etc. This is how we can define course policy in our ASP.NET Core web application. There is no need to install any third party package in this application. Now we have to use this course in this application. For that inside this configure method after the use routing and before the use endpoints uh, we have to use this method app dot use course if you are using custom policy then you can pass the policy name over here using this use course method we are enabling the course globally in this application but if you want to enable this course uh, only for some specific methods then you can use enable course attribute in your action method or controller level that's it let's build this application now run this app now reload this page See here, uh, we have 200 status code. Let's open this link. See here, we have all the data from the database. Now, we will display this data in this UI. For that, uh, go to Visual Studio Code Editor. First, we will update the table column title. So here, first column ID and then title author remove this code
okay in the body um, here i will use ng for loop so here let book of books because see here um, we are getting all the books data in this books variable to get the value we will do like this here your book dot id book dot title book dot author id title and author okay save the changes now go back to browser reload this page here we have all the data that are available in the database this is how we can fix cache issue and display the data uh, from get api method in our asp.net core web api application thanks for watching this video